the importance of good friendship can't be overstated. The Prophet ﷺ told us that المرء على ديني خليله which means that a person will be on the way of life of his or her closest friend. So you actually become like your friend. When you take someone as a close companion, you start to become like each other. You take on the same way, the same deen, literally the way of life. He also said that good company is like entering a perfume shop. See what happens when you enter, what happens when you enter Bath and Body Works, right? You go in there, and even if you buy nothing, you come out smelling like, you know, perfume and apple, cucumber. You, you put on all the samples, right? So you come out smelling better anytime you go in a perfume shop. Even if you don't buy anything, it still affects you in a positive way. You, you smell better than you, you did when you went in, right? So good company, he says, is like entering a perfume shop. Even if you don't get, come out with something, you'll still ha smell better. And, this, and then the opposite is true. Bad company is like entering a blacksmith shop. You either get burnt or you come out with the smell of smoke on your clothing. So it still affects you. At the very least, is just the way you smell. We have to be very mindful who we take as our closest companions because on the Day of Judgment, Allah tells us in the Qur'an that the people who are being punished are going to say, I wish I had not taken so-and-so as a close friend. I wish I had not taken so-and-so as a friend because that person misguided me. To the, that person took me to the wrong path. They took me away from the path, the, the, the straight path. So this is one of the biggest regrets that people have in Jahannam. So this is extremely important. It, and, and, and in fact, scholars of the heart say that bad company is one of the poisons of the heart. So it's, it's extremely important that we, we, we guard our com company.